So this is getting a little ridiculous. Time for another mailbag. Welcome back to another quick mailbag where I show off all the components that I've received for upcoming electronics and cool projects that we do here on the channel from time to time. Out of the box, we have, I have no idea what these are to be honest, we're gonna find out. It looks like an ESP8266 Classic Programmer. And I have never had one of these before. And sure enough, that appears to be what it is. This looks like ESP01 Breakout. Again, from eBay, uh, I, th I have these in my makeme.org store down below. I've just never used one before. And I want to get into using up some of the old classic ESPs for some really, really simple projects. And we'll give them a go. Next up, these I already have out of the package because I was really, really excited to get a look at one of these. This is the new ESP32 microcontroller. Handy dandy, full GPIO broke out microcontroller using the ESP32 module. I've never used one. The are kind of new on the scene still well not well, they're not new anymore but the the support for them has been slowly building and finally it's at the point where i'm ready to jump in and give them a try now that some of the the common libraries support them this is breadboard friendly already soldered uh just esp32 dev nothing to it usb powered no uh, battery breakout on these strictly the module with tons of gpio and a crazy crazy capable processor uh, you can google the specs on these but i'm i'm really excited to give one of these a go i think it's going to be a lot of fun look forward to seeing these on the channel next up out of the package we've got a bunch of buzzers these are just standard uh, piezo transducers, no sticker on the ends of these ones, breadboard friendly, uh, standard two pin, three to five volt. I think they go significantly higher. These are just the, just complete standard bare bones. I needed these for uh, a project that I'm working on for my day job, which you've seen in my live streams. If you watch me, you've, uh, you've already seen some of the work leading up to these and I just needed a supply of these. So eBay to the rescue. We got some button caps. These are for tactile switches and they're just button extenders. Now we can 3D print these nowadays without... <laughs> we can 3D... <laughs> I just threw them all over the floor. It's very price reasonable to just grab, grab a whole package of these and give them a go. So a uh, nice little way to extend a tactile switch button. We'll give them a try. Next up. We have two of these. This is a tweezer probe system. So standard multimeter leads, just standard. Oh, uh, same thing that goes into any multimeter. Come with, I'm not sure why they all come with these caps now, because you just end up taking the caps off and throwing them out. I don't get that, but now we can go and probe on a board. Now, honestly, I seldom need this, but the price was so reasonable on these, I thought I would give them a try. And there are situations where we may want to, we may want to apply a very specific amount of load across a component, and we could use the power supply to feed it that way. I'm not sure, we'll give it a try. I use these on my ESR meter, my equivalent series resistance meter all the time um, for testing capacitors in circuit and stuff but i don't know we're gonna give these a try they were price reasonable very nice quality leads i'm not sure how much i'm going to use them to be honest but when i want them they may be real handy because with these you can slip underneath a board and get in like in old oscilloscopes and stuff when you wanted to probe onto the in underneath one of the the sandwiched pcbs this might be an option. The, the very specialty tool. Probably not going to need it very often, 
But heck, now we have them. Next up, just NPM transistors. Nothing crazy there. I already have a whole bunch of them in the bin. Handy to have. Next up, lots and lots of power jacks. We got both the male and the female barrel style standard, uh, same size as the Arduino Unos take. I forget the, the pitch on these, but to uh, a terminal header on both sides. Handy dandy, just even if you needed a quick and dirty solution to make a connection in a power line that's good for a few amps or good for quite a few amps, this would work. It's big and ugly, but if you wanted to go this way instead of say, using a Anderson power pole connector or whatever, or Dean's, well, you could do this in a pinch and also plug into all kinds of standard size boards. Got some PCBs. These are just uh, universal SMD soldering templates slash practice boards. You just grab these on eBay. They will allow uh, a standard surface mount uh, ICs on this side and all kinds of breakout for doing jumpers and uh, larger ICs. So you could make your own Arduino and all the supporting components and an entire circuit on here and prototype it pretty quickly if you wanted to solder it up instead of using it on a breadboard or whatever. It's an interesting little concept. Nothing on the back side though. It's kind of a fail there, but yeah, we can make a lot of really cool circuits out of this and act like a, a standard breadboard. So handy thing to have in the kit. What do we have? LEDs. So we have a bunch of surface mount LEDs. Uh, it doesn't really matter what's labeled on here. It's just a variety of LEDs. And these are 0805 and 0603, I believe, was the kit that I ordered. That looks like 0805. So handy to have, might need those someday. We can use them for, you name it, all kinds of projects. Handy thing. These are SMD practice kits. So surface mount soldering practice kits. Again, this is an eBay special. Comes with a variety of surface mount resistors, some uh, IC control, and a bunch of LEDs. So this will blink like a, uh, what's the, so this will blink like a, the Adafruit the circular LEDs, uh, except I don't think they're RGB, but that's the part numbers and stuff. Just a handy thing to practice SMD soldering, and what we're going to use these for is testing out my new reflow oven with a board with a lot of components on it. And just let's stress this thing, see how it works. It's not going to stress the oven, but it'll stress me and see how we can make it like a production board. And this is the easiest way to do it. It's just a couple dollar kit, and we'll try it out. One last one for today. We got a circuit board clamping kit. Now, this is something that I haven't needed very often, Oof. but it will be handy for certain jobs. So basically we can clamp a board down in here and then work with it. And when we clamp it in, the spring loaded action will hold it in place and then we can rotate things around. And we have the other components here, the other legs stands which we actually may or may not need but that adds some weight and some girth and we can just tighten down thumb screws tighten down thumb screws when you've got things into place and snap your board in and hold it in place so i think that'll be pretty handy for certain projects if you like these videos, if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, if you like electronics, go ahead and click a thumbs up down below. It really, really helps the channel. Join me in the Discord link to chat live down below. I will see you next video. Good luck in all your electronics ventures.